What is up, everybody? This is FNHA with a brand new video to talk about how you can fix all your .dll errors that you may be receiving in your Windows. So this is a very quick and easy fix on how you can get it done instead of like installing the single DLLs errors that you may be getting because this can happen in many different ways, many different formats. I know I used to get them with like video games or like certain devices I used to install on my computer. Usually like uh, when I used to code with Android Studio, I believe, I think that's what it was called. Uh, I forgot what it was called. But yeah, I used to get a lot of DLL errors and this fix works and I'm gonna show you ex exactly what to do. So the first thing you need to do is you can cl uh, click the link in the description below to go here or just Google it, uh, microsoft.com slash and us slash download that might not be it in your country per se but this is usually the place where you need to go in here you just need to download or type direct x and user runtime web installer once you have that ha once you have it let us search you'll basically find it click the first link and it essentially show you this is the one you want uh, i'll leave a link for this in the description but the only reason i would or, or, like advise you to search it is because it Microsoft changes their website time to time so it could essentially go away uh, so yeah uh, let's see I don't want those I know you're recommending it no thanks I just want the direct X end user if it doesn't work for Microsoft you can always get it from other websites uh, but yeah let me just show you right now you press accept agreement next nope I don't care about Bing I hate Bing and then you'll see it essentially installing all the dot DLL files I believe I already have them because I've Windows 10 to just update them automatically. But this is essentially like what you, if you're missing it, you will get it. Again, I have the latest Windows I and I also have a vast that downloads it for me. But yeah, and I also did it. So don't worry. You can. I will give you this link in the description below for you guys to check out. Because it installs all the DLL files for you, everything that you need. And essentially, you'll be able to get it fixed all the DLL errors. Again, there's also, there's always the manual way where you just type that DLLs uh, um, thing in Google, the whatever the error code name is, and then search it, install it, or you could do this method, which again, it works. I prefer it. I like it. Uh, sometimes, it, again, Windows 10 is much more efficient and it works for me. Um, I've never really, I guess, like, gotten issues in the sense that like oh it just didn't work or i had a deal error i used to get those a lot for windows xp 7 8 but 10 hasn't been pretty efficient and again i do have a vast which downloads most of my softwares for me if anything's missing so that obviously does help but yeah this is the way to do it i'll leave a link for you in the description below uh so you guys can actually go get it install it download it and essentially go from there so overall uh i, I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative if you still have an error let me know in the comment section below i'll try to walk you through and guide you as much as i can uh, but overall if you did help find this helpful and informative give it a thumbs up it helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell on that FNH out.